You don't, you didn't I, know. You are, didn't, you, are you recording already? Oh, yeah. You had okay. no. You had no idea. I had these multi talents, did you, brother? You? Yeah, I do. All right. <laughs> in two th in, in in two thousand, you didn't get to participate in this because you were with the, you were the bad guy. You were the enemy. So this is kind of cool. This is. That was in Europe. I was in Formula One. Remember that? I came here, raised. I took pictures and okay, thank you, bye, bye. But after you won the after you won the race, you know you had to go to Milwaukee next week, so you didn't get really participate in all the things that happened here. Um, I, we did. We went to New York and did a bit of media and stuff. Yeah. But you were still the enemy. Yeah, enemy <laughs> of my enemy is my friend, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So all the things you've done, Monaco, this place, winning your NASCAR race, winning your car championship when you're just a kid. What's what's still the most? Is this the most important thing now? Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah, definitely. You know, this one with Monaco are like way up there. Um, I'll tell you the truth, for me, my first win in Long Beach, it's really special because it was my first big time win. That's what I call it. Yep. Like that when I won there, I said I made it. But when you were growing up in Formula One, not knowing you'd be in the Indy 500 someday, did, had you heard of the Borg Warner? Did you know about all this pomp and tradition they had at Indy? Or? No, not really. No, I mean, you hear about it, but in Colombia, you don't get to leave it or understand it. And it's pretty amazing. You, but what's great was is you could really see it this year after you won Indy because not only are you 40 years old or you're nearing the 40 year old mark, how I much how much more it meant to you because the first time it, it, it seemed so easy and it was just part of, you know, you were thrown in there at the last minute, hey, you're going to go run Indy. It just seems like it meant more this year. It meant more because, you know, Roger gave me the opportunity to come back to IndyCar and open wheel and he believed in me where a lot of people didn't and um, it was nice, you know, it's now it's just a matter of just keep winning. Do your, does your kids, your, your kids finally get to see you win races and stuff there because they weren't around when you were a hero back in the kart days. Do they, did they understand the, the impact of this? Um, no, I don't think yet. Nah. I mean, I think when, when they, we come back this year and they're going to see this and the face on the tro you know, trophy and ticket. the ticket and everything and the boss around it, it's going to be pretty special. When we look at all the great IndyCar finishes of the last 15, 25 years, this is going to rank as one of them. The fact that it was your teammate for Roger Penske is even probably a little higher. But did you, have you gone back and watched the replay at the end of the race? I watched the night. Uh, they had a local TV in a bar where we were. I watched it there, and that's the only time I watched it. So you'll probably be an old 65-year-old man when you watch it again. Yeah, I haven't watched my first one yet. <laughs> she haven't watched your first Indy 500 yet. Folks, just remember this. After Montoya kicked their butt, I asked AJ Ford after the race, I said, what did you think about that? And he says, that Monterio is going to make it someday. I think you made it, brother. Congratulations. Hi. Nice to see you here. Thank you. Good to see that you look better on this trophy than Tony Kanaan. Thank God. Well, the nose is a little smaller. I think I had to modify the case for Kanaan's nose. <laughs> Robin Miller for Racer.com. Thanks for watching. Yeah,